What's going on everybody here we are. It's another week of the Home Theater Hobbies and this week we got something super special for you. We've got the Q Acoustics Concept 500s. That's right, they're flagship speakers in the house. I'm going to unbox them and give you an overview. So let's get to it. Before we get too far into this video, if you enjoy this type of content, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted anytime we upload new content. When Q Acoustics asked me if I wanted to review the Concept 500s, my immediate answer was yes. I absolutely want to review the Concept 500s because A, first of all, they're flagship speakers and who doesn't want to review a flagship product? But for me, it is definitely more than that. When I look at pictures online of these speakers, I think they look great. First of all, they are floor standing speakers. I like floor standing speakers. Second of all, they look like speakers. You know, a lot of higher end speakers, they, you know, they go for these esoteric designs because they are a work of art along with being speakers. And there's definitely a place for that. But I like speakers that look like speakers. So having a speaker that looks like a speaker is in my mind a plus. But what they did was they added, I guess, a lacquer to the outside. So it's got a nice gloss to it. But what I really like, at least from the pictures, is I like the fact that they've got the cabinet but on the back of the cabinet they have wood veneers so there's like this two-tone look that I'm really looking forward to seeing how these speakers look in person with that look and so first thing I really am looking forward to is just looking at these speakers now the second thing that I'm looking forward to is listening to these speakers and that is the thing I am most excited about you guys in the comment section actually introduced me to Q Acoustics. Several of you mentioned Q Acoustics and I was like, man, I've got to look into this company because you said that you liked them. Well, I looked into it and I ordered a pair for myself, the 3010i's, and I really like those speakers. Since then, I have reviewed, let's see, the 3050i's, the Concept 20's, and I've also heard the M4 Soundbar Super Bass Package, which I like that name, and I'll put links to those videos in the description below, or you can check them out in the cards above. But um, the main thing that I noticed about their sound presentation for basically all of them is they have a nice natural sound to vocals. Voices sound natural, and I like that. So I'm really curious to hear exactly what Q Acoustics can do with a bigger budget. And actually speaking of hearing these speakers, from what I understand, Q Acoustics will be at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest here in September in the Denver area. So if you happen to be going to the Audio Fest or you happen to be in Denver in general, put Q Acoustics on your schedule, stop by, go hear them because I think they're going to have a pair of these on hand to listen to along with the Concept 300 bookshelf speakers. So go by there so you can get ears on with these. Now, if you aren't able to make it to Rocky Mountain Audio Festival for whatever reason, I am going to be doing a full review of these with some audio samples so you'll be able to hear them over, you know, over YouTube, obviously. But enough about that. Let's talk about these. and Let's talk about this experience. As you can see, these boxes are big. At the top end, you've got that Q Acoustics logo there along with a speaker. So if you have these delivered to your home, make sure you're home to take them off your porch or, you know, you're there when the delivery man is there. But as I said, these are big. You have to remember that these stand about 53 inches tall, something like 21 inches wide and 23 inches deep. So they are very, very big. These are big speakers and they're also heavy. I think this box weighs on the order of about 100 pounds. So what I'm saying is you will need help moving these around your home. So call in that favor to your buddy, to your friend, to your neighbor to help you move these around. And speaking of that, Q Acoustics does give you a little bit of assistance on that end. On the side of each of these boxes, there are two handholds. So you can lay the box horizontal and you can pick it up and move it very, very easily because they have handholds. So thank you Q Acoustics for that. Otherwise, this is a very nice box. It's um, by nice box, as far as boxes go, it's nice thick. Um, they do have these straps on here. So I guess that keeps the flaps on if even if the tape comes off. So that's great. And as you can see, it's got a best product award from ESA and overall it's a great box. But enough about that. Let's get into this unboxing. These boxes are big, so I'm going to have to move one out of the way. And looking at the side of the box, it says that you open from the bottom. So I'm going to lay the other one down and start there. So let's go ahead. Let's get this unboxing underway because I want to look at these and of course listen to them. So let's get to it. Okay, so here I am, I've got them on the floor. 
and on the bottom of the box it actually says caution two-person lift and you have I guess the it says concept 500 it tells me what color I have which I actually got a new color a, a gray and a wood so I'm looking forward to seeing that obviously and um, like I said you've got these straps on it to keep the uh, tape in and also looks like you've got some metal bands here so let's go ahead let's take these straps off and the tape is a little bit torn but you know that's just the shipping process in general let's go ahead and let's cut it open okay so there is a diagram here that tells you well first of all you have two straps two black straps just turn it that way two black straps and there's this diagram here that tells you exactly how to unbox it so effectively you pull it out uh, you take the straps off and you remove the sections and the speaker will sit inside the sections and you also have the feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull this out. Now as you can see as I pulled it out it was a little bit harder you know since I'm here and it's just me now. Um, to pull it out and pull against the box, but it wasn't bad at all. It's actually pretty easy to pull it out. These straps are actually Velcro. They're not just plastic straps, so that's a nice touch. And they have these little latches on them to help them stay in place, but otherwise everything looks really good. Yeah, the front is just cardboard. just like the back so you can see it there but enough of that let's go ahead and let's take these straps off and see how these speakers look pretty simple so it says pull each end away from the speakers on this end we have a little book right here it says beautifully engineered sound we have a very thick owner's manual right there, along with some black cleaning cloth. So that's cool, like black cleaning cloth. And in here, looks like we have the floor spikes and the jumper. Okay, so real quick, we have floor spikes here and we also have rounded floor spikes that go in here but they're already on the speaker so I wasn't sure what happened to them but apparently they're right here on the speaker because I can feel them and we'll pull this out in just a moment and this little slot in here I think that's where the black cloth goes so it's, everything is nice and form-fitting okay nothing on this end And that's it, that's how you pull it out of the box. I'm going to, I really wanna see how this looks. I think, yeah, just feeling this, this feels like the back of the speaker, but I want to actually pull both of the, oh, this, this cloth, this is a very nice cloth, by the way. Um, I wanna pull both of the speakers off, basically at the same time. So I'm going to leave this on, hold off on this part, I'm going to unbox the other one, basically the same way, and uh, then we'll pull the cloth off of both of these. So I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can get the other box down here on the floor and do it again. Okay, so here we are with the second one and I'm going to do the same process again. As you can see, we got tape. We've only got one strap on this one. We're missing the other one, but otherwise looks to be in good shape. And um, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Just one of the handholds from the outside of the box. Okay, so here we are, the moment of truth, actually taking the very nice cotton bags <laughs> off of these speakers, and uh, obviously I'm looking forward to it. So uh, let's do this.
Forgot to have my white gloves ready. The Concept 500s are just over 45 inches tall, just under 16 inches wide, and just under 14 inches deep. They weigh 92 pounds. They have a frequency response from 41 hertz to 30,000 hertz. The base drivers are 6.5 inches in diameter, while the tweeter is 1.1 inches in diameter. They have a nominal impedance of 6 ohms. The Concept 500s from Q Acoustics. And in a word, these things are gorgeous. They feel like glass to the touch. And I mean, I've got the silver finish here with this ebony wood veneer here on the back. And this two-tone look is just, it looks great. I mean, it really does look stellar there. And I, I, I just like the way it looks. And then it melts down there at the bottom into that metal base that's real metal that's got that chrome finish to it and on that base q acoustics actually went ahead and they put the bald feet on there so when i unbox these and pull out this box with all the accessories in them you notice that i did not have the bald feet in here and at first i didn't know why that was but that's because they put the bald feet on on there for you so when you pull them out your floor is already protected from the base so that is very very nice attention to detail and I like that. And speaking of attention to detail, they did a great job packaging these speakers. The styrofoam was nice and high quality and packed all the way around it. Obviously it was in that cloth bag that definitely protected it from scratches. But the thing I liked the most was that they had two different pairs of straps. A pair of straps on the outside to keep the box from opening. But once you open the box, they had a pair of straps on the inside of the box to pull the box or to pull the speaker out of the box very, very easily. These aren't light speakers, but yet you're able to pull them out very easily. And then the straps are Velcro, so you can just pull the Velcro off and then pull the boxing or the packaging off of the speaker. So they did a great job packaging these. So if you decide to purchase these, you're going to get a very well packaged, very well thought out design speaker. But like I said, these look great. One thing I do want to mention that I didn't mention before in the unboxing is the port plug. The port plug was already inside the port in the speaker here. And these are dual port plugs. And what that means is this little center section actually pulls out. So you have even more tuning ability with this port. And I will actually investigate how that sounds uh, in my full review. And I will be doing a full review of these speakers. So expect to see that review in probably about a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. I've got to give these proper time to break in or run in as they say. So stay tuned for that review. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, so you'll know and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we upload the video of these. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to purchase these or anything else from Q Acoustics, use those links in the description below. We'll talk to you next time.